Hello students, welcome once again and we have a question here. We say we should list the first five terms of the of the terms of the sequence. So let's quickly move to that. Okay, so we have um the first one being a1 equal to 3. Then we have been given this term over here. So we have a to the subscript of that. Okay, so in this sequence, we have the first term being a, a1 is 3. So they have the first term to be a1, and we have to list the first five terms of the sequence. So this is what we we'll do. So we we'll say if n equal to 1. So if n equal to 1, then with this term over here, we have um, being 2 a n minus 1. Then we have a1 plus 1 being equal to 2 there n term is just 1 so you have a1 minus 1 and we have 1 plus 1 being 2 we have um, 2 a1 is just 3 so we insert it in so we have 3 here minus 1 so we have a2 as 6 minus 1 being equal to 5 so we have the first one then we can also say that if n equal to 2 then we have a 2 plus 1 being equal to 2 a2 minus 1 so we have um a3 equal to 2 a2 is just um 5 so we have a2 as 5 minus 1 here so a3 is equal to 5 times 2 is just 10 minus 1 and a3 is 9 yeah now if n equal to 3 so the question says we should find the first five terms. So we have the first term as three, the second term as five, the third term as nine, and we have the um, fourth term. So we have um, a three plus one being equal to two a three minus one. So we have a four as that. Then a three we got as nine minus one. So therefore, our a4, we have our a4 here as 18 minus 1 being 17 as our a4. Then, if n equal to 4, then saying that a4 plus 1 equal to 2 a4 minus 1. So we have a5 here being equal to 2 a4 is just we got a4 as 17 so we have 17 here minus 1 and a5 will be just 33 we can do that so basically the first five terms of the sequence is given us we have our first term to be 3 so we have 3 we have the second term as 5 the third term as 9 the fourth the fourth term as 17 and the fifth term as 33 so this is how to find the first five terms of the sequence so let's quickly move on to the second part so we have the second part so we have the b part as a a1 being equal to 4 and we have to give you this as a n over a n minus 1 so with this we have so we say if a1 is 4 then if n equal to 1 sorry if n equal to 1 then I'm saying that um, a1 plus 1 equal to a1 over a1 minus 1 so quickly we have um, our a2 as we have a2 as a1 being 4 so 4 over a1 4 minus 1 being 4 over 3 then if n equal to 3 sorry if n equal to 2 then our a2 plus 1 equal to a2 over a2 minus 1 then we have a3 being equal to our a2 we add as 4 over 3 so we have um, 4 over 3 being divided by 4 over 3 minus 1 then we can have 4 over 3 over here we have 3 goes into that so we have 4 minus 
that we have three years. So we have four over three over um that is one over three. So now we have four over three times one times three over one. This cancel that and we have four as the a three. We have four as a three. Then from there our if n equal to three then we having a three plus one being equal to a three over a three minus one so we have um a four equal to a three we had a three to be four so we have four over four minus one then we have four over three then if n equal to if n equal to 4, then our a4 plus 1 being equal to a4 over a4 minus 1. And we can have a5 here being equal to a4 we add as 4 over 3. So we have 4 over 3 over 4 over 3 minus 1. And we have 4 over 3 here. 4 over 3 here. 4 over 3 minus 1 is just um, 1 over 3. And therefore, we can have our 4 over 3 times 3 over 1. 3 gets rid of 3. And we have 4 here. So, therefore, our sequence will not go this way. So, we have our A1 to be 4. So, we have 4. Our A2 as um, 4 over 3. A3. A3 as, A3 as 4. And we have um, a4 as 4 over 3 and a5 as 4. So basically, this is what we have for the sequence. And thank you very much for joining me in this section. And we'll meet for another section and we'll talk about other things. So please subscribe and also hit the notification bell for more. Yeah.